Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we're gonna to do a little bit of cleanup and talk about what's going on with this Japanese black pine. Okay, well, if you've never worked with Japanese black pine, then you might not recognize some of the issues that are going on here. But uh, if you're growing bonsai, you're probably going to recognize that brown needles and weird distorted growth is generally not a good thing. So a couple of years ago, we sent some samples off to a lab to try to figure out what was going on with this sort of distorted yellowy growth. and. The really interesting thing is that the needles will be distorted like this, but the buds will still be strong in some cases. But in other cases, the, the growth will actually die back like it has here. So I'm gonna clean some of this up and uh, then I'll get into talking about the, uh, the reasoning and, and what's going on with this tree. So the lab results showed that this type of growth is caused by pythium. It is a water-loving fungus. It's not actually a fungus, but we'll just call it a fungus and uh, because it's closely related. And it attacks the roots of the plant. So removing this branch won't really do anything in terms of... Um, in terms of correcting the problem. So you're not going to be removing the source of the pathogen by cutting off this affected branch. And the same thing is true for these other guys over here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them uh, as I continue cleaning this plant up, but that's not gonna solve the problem. So the problem that we're, we're solving here actually needs to be addressed uh, under, the, under the soil. You're gonna to have to do it more than once, but you can treat with a fungicide for the roots, and then you can also sort of completely disinfect. Sometimes repotting can have a beneficial effect to these guys uh, when they're in this sort of a condition because you're removing a lot of the, the fungal um, body, the fungal spore bodies from the situation. But good sanitation, uh, should be used when and care should be taken when you're dealing with a plant uh, that is, has, has these symptoms. Now, this actually has been treated. I've treated this with uh, Mephinoxum, which is sold as Subdue Max. And that is, I believe, why the majority of the growth here is actually looking pretty healthy. So there's nice strong buds here, and uh, a lot of these branches look perfectly fine. The best thing to do is not to just use the same fungicide over and over again, uh, because they have particular modes of action, you need to use different fungicides. Xerotol is a more like a disinfectant than a fungicide. It'll kill spores and whatnot, but unfortunately it'll also kill off a lot of the beneficial bacteria and whatnot that are in the soil. So if you do use Xerotol or something like Xerotol, um, like hydrogen peroxide is similar, then be sure to get some sort of re-inoculation uh, in the soil to uh, reintroduce the beneficial soil bacteria so that the, the soil doesn't become sort of like a, a blank petri dish for whatever ends up showing up. So fall needle thinning is something that you would normally do on a black pine and it's only the beginning of October right now. So actually it's late September, but <clears throat> But this isn't really the same as uh, fall needle thinning that you would do on Japanese black pines that are mature trees because this is a young tree and if you know you should always be looking at the health of the tree when you're doing work but the point of fall needle thinning on Japanese black pine is really to allow light into the interior or lower branches. And so when you're growing a plant to become bonsai like this one, uh, but that is not yet a bonsai, and you don't really need to thin the buds in the same way. So you can actually be somewhat, it can be detrimental to just go in and 
blanketly follow the instructions that are used for refinement uh, and maintenance of older trees on young trees like this one. So all I'm doing really is I'm pulling off brown needles, I'm pulling off some of the some of the live needles at the same time, but I'm being careful not to remove things that I might need. And so this is this is actually an example. There's a number of buds at the base of each one of these needles. And I may find it useful in the future to have those small buds there. But in order for them to maintain uh, their health, I need to remove some of the foliage around them so that they get more light and air. And so I'm gonna do the same thing on some of these other branches. All right, uh, that's the cleanup complete. And I just wanna point out a few things that I did here. So in different places, I've, I've left either needles here where there are no actual real buds. Actually, there's a, looks like there's one in there. And in other places I've left buds. Now, there were a lot of sort of clusters of buds that were going on. And wherever there were a lot of them, I removed some of the, the buds to give the others more space to grow. If you, if you keep a, a cluster of buds, say there's like 10 buds in an area like this right here, and if you keep all of those, they'll all stay uh, small for quite a bit longer. Whereas if you take most of them off and give more light and space to just a couple that are left, you'll end up getting those to grow into more useful growth. So, and I'm still doing it actually here because this this tree is pretzeled around quite nicely, which means that it's kind of hard to see everything all at once. In any case, there were there's still plenty of buds up here to form a crown, and there are some low, small buds on the interior. All of the long growth that's on here is going to be removed, and so in the end, the tree will be much more compact, um, something like this, but you know, wired down and, and made into a more interesting kind of compact uh, design. But for now, I'm gonna leave these strong guys on that will fatten up the roots and the trunk on this side as well. And it'll be a few more years before this one is ready for a bonsai pot, but it's definitely um, gone through the undetermined phase into something that's starting to look like uh, an interesting bonsai. So. Uh, hope that information about the Pythium helped you guys and we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.